And you're a, you're a family man? Yeah. Wife and kids? Wife and four kids. Wow. Yeah, bro. Wow. Busy guy. <laughs> Busy guy. And you're 29? 29. What, what age did you get married and what age did you... I got um, married at eight, uh, just turned 19. My missus was 18. I wow. just, yeah. That's nice, man. That's nice. So we've been married for 10 years. Yeah. Has it been smooth sailing? Is, it, no, is, is marriage never. easy? Marriage, psh, no. <laughs> <laughs> marriage, and anything worth having in this life ain't, ain't easy, bro. You want a good marriage, it's not easy. You want good health, it's not easy. You want a good education, you want to have a good business, everything. There's going to be some rocky, rocky stages. And if you can, you know, if you can survive through the storm, mm. then when the sea is calm, you enjoy it. Yeah. And that's what it is. And I think because we got married young, and I think a lot of people who got married would, 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 would agree with me, when you get married in your 20s and you haven't figured out who you are yet, but you still love someone, it's the toughest thing ever. Because you're both changing at different rates. Yeah. Like you're both, like, especially women are much more mature than men anyways. And I didn't deep it until I started growing up and I'm like, she's, but she's so on point and I'm not on point, like, you know what I mean? Then I'm just catching up now. But if you have good core values, like we never take a break, yeah. we agreed. Like we, we set some good core values, like we're not taking a break. No, no such thing as I'm going to my mum's house right now. We, wherever, we're, wherever we're battling through, we battle for it together. You know, you stay firm. You have to talk. It doesn't go more than two days of silence in my, like when we're together. Like, no, no, what's going on now? Pattern up. What's, what, like we have to talk. Otherwise, when you let that stuff run for long, you don't even remember why you're angry in the first place. Other things start, I don't know, what's it called? A snowball effect. You start, you, know, you throw a snowball down, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's the same with your problems in your relationships. If you don't address that straight away, more just add on to it. You get annoyed because he didn't throw the rubbish or he's speaking to me this or why are you staying up? Why are you sleeping on the sofa? Why are you doing it? And then they say, you know, that person is just irrit ir um, annoying to you and irritating you. And you forget, you forget all the things, all the good things you've done for each other and you're all focusing too much on the, on the tiny ones, little, little problems, isn't it? Yeah, no, I, I get that. Would you say would you say marriage changed you as a as, as a man or as a person? Definitely, because you don't just think of yourself anymore. And then kids change you even. Kids is another level. Marriage is like your 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 happiness. You have to be. Look, I used to think before she has to make me happy, but it's not like that. I need to make myself happy. She needs to make herself happy, and then we enjoy it together. If I focus on her making me happy, and she focuses on me making her happy. What happens when I'm down and she's down? We ain't got no energy. Then you start blaming each other. Mm. You weren't there for me. Where were you? Like, can't you see that I'm in a bad mood? Why are you not caring? Like, you know what I mean? Like, so you're a human being, bro. Sometimes you crash as well. You get tired. You get this. You've had a long week of work. Or maybe your family have given you... Um, maybe you have family issues as well. And one side might not have family issues or vice versa. You just have to make sure you focus on yourself. I learned a lot about making sure I'm good so that when I enter the home, I'm bringing positivity. I'm not entering the home with no negativity, no headache, and she, she, her, vice versa. Like she has to come with the same energy. Whatever's happened here, here, we leave it there, and we just enjoy our time together. But when you have kids, though, that's another level. <laughs> <laughs> what what age did you become a father? Twenty. Twenty. Okay, so yeah. one year into marriage. Twenty was my first one. Twenty nine. I was just literally a few weeks ago. It was my fourth one. When? My fourth one. It was just literally seven weeks ago. Okay, right, right. So I've got a nine-year-old, an eight-year-old, a five-year-old, and a month and a half. 